for the final leg of our journey, we are stepping into the very exciting world of 3D printing. Welcome to Formlabs' European headquarters, based here in Funkhaus in the vibrant city of Berlin, Germany. Formlabs have been pioneers in the world of 3D printing really from the start, and they've been revolutionising the game since way back, making additive manufacturing technologies accessible to the masses. Now, our focus today is the Form 3 Plus, which uses Formlabs' patented low-force stereolithography technique to create an even sharper and detailed part. The first step is to set up our prints using Formlabs' software Preform. We then also need to select our resin type. So for this instance, we are using Formlabs' colour-based resin for the body shell, Formlabs' clear resin for any windows, and the rest is going to be printed on the standard grey resin. So once we're happy with everything, we just go ahead and press print. And in a few hours time, we come back and see our parts come to life. Once we've printed our components, we just need to clean off the resin using the form wash, and then ensure that all that resin is fully hardened using the form cure. We then carefully, using snips and eye protection, remove all the supports from the model and tidy up any support scarring left on the surface using sandpaper. Now, the Formlabs software Preform does actually generate really easy to break away supports, which is great to minimise that support scarring left on our parts. All that's left to do is assemble. Now, luckily the guys in Canada have created a really easy to follow instruction manual for the assembly of the peel. So all I'll need is a bit of glue and I'll crack on. Before we let you go, let me tell you about what we do here at Creform Engineering. Modeling projects are typically based on pictures or sketches, but with the Peel by Peel project, we had the chance to have a full-scale 3D scan of the car and its components. This made the model significantly more accurate and representative of the original design. Of course, our objective was to make the model as realistic as possible, but we also took in consideration how it would be made and the scale at which it would be printed. We had scans of most of the components that we used as a reference for CAD design and built some of the more minor components such as the wiper or handbrake lever based on pictures and observation modeling. We then added mounting pins and slots and used the CAD model to build the assembly instruction manual. All that to deliver the very first fully 3D printable 116 P50 miniature model based on the 3D scan of an actual real P50 car. And here we have it then, a masterpiece in the making, a thing of beauty. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without a little Ben model to go next to it, would it? Peel 3D meets Peel P50. Of course, if you want to see any more photos of this magnificent creation, you can head to our Instagram account, where we'll be posting loads more on this later. And if you want to get in on the action as well, you can scroll to the comments section below and find some 3D printable files so you can create the Peel P50 from the comfort of your own home. Thank you so much for joining us on this thrilling ride and until next time, happy scanning, happy printing and happy assembling. Stay adventurous folks. Bye.